Hello and welcome to this video in which we are going to go through the changes that have been made to version 10.1 of NCES FE Reference Handbook and how they impact FE Electrical and Computer Exam candidates. So there are two sections that impact FE Electrical and Computer candidates. The first one is Mathematics where two changes have been made, very minor changes, and I'm going to go through them in detail. And the second section is electrical and computer engineering, where four changes have been made, and I'm going to go through them in detail as well. First of all, I recommend you to download a document from NCS website. It is called Changes to FE Reference Handbook version 10.1, which can be found under the errata section of the NCS website. I'm going to include a link in this video as well and I will walk you through that document in order to explain the changes that I just mentioned. So these are not major changes, very minor changes, but it is highly recommended to use the latest and the greatest version of the NCS FE Reference Handbook because that is a version of the handbook that you're going to see on the day of exam and that is your only allowed reference during the exam. So this is the document that I mentioned earlier. It can be downloaded from NCES under the errata section and I will also include a link. So let's start with the very first page of this document. It is titled as Changes to FE Reference Handbook 10.1. So the first section that is relevant to us as FE Electrical and Computer candidates is Mathematics. So there's a change on page number 39 under Ellipse. They have actually added an equation that can help us calculate the area of Ellipse if you know the major axis, which happens to be A, and the minor axis of the ellipse, which is B, you can calculate the area of ellipse by making use of this equation. So let's take a quick look at version 10.1. And over here, you can see that under ellipse, we have this equation that is now added. And if you go to the previous version, you'll see that equation is missing. The second change in mathematics that concern FE electrical and computer candidates is the Fourier transform pair for the unit step function. As you can see over here on page number 55, they've revised the formula for unit step function. So let's quickly go and take a look at version 10.1. When you look at the unit step function, the new formula is this. And when you compare it to the old formula in version 10.0.1, you see that in the denominator, we had j being raised to two pi f. Okay, but when you look at the new formula, it is one divided by j times two pi f. So these are the two changes very quickly. Addition of the equation for calculation of area of an ellipse and correction of the Fourier transform pair for the unit step function. As we move on from mathematics, you will see that there are some minor changes in other sections, but they don't impact us because they're not part of the FE electrical and computer exam specification. So they have changes in statics, they have changes in thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, civil engineering, and it doesn't really impact us until we reach electrical and computer engineering. So the first change that we encounter in electrical and computer engineering is on page number 367 under induction machines. And it is a very, very minor change. They've actually just added this text at the top of the torque speed curve, which says normalize to maximum breakdown torques. Now, let me explain you what this basically means. When you compare these two graphs, this is 10.1. So just focus on this text over here. This text was missing from 10.0.1. Now the assumption, or I guess it was all, always assumed that this percentage that is mentioned over here is expressed as a percentage of the maximum torque, right? So what they're basically saying, and this is just to add more clarity, is that whatever percentages you are seeing over here, 40%, 60%, 80%, or 100%, the 100% is 100% of your maximum torque, right? So it is normalized as a baseline of the maximum torque. So when we say 40%, it is 40% of the maximum breakdown torque. The next change in electrical and computer engineering section has to do with decibels and body plot, specifically diagram C, which is shown over here. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Now we're looking at 10.1, and when you look at diagram C, you can see that on the phase 
axis, we have minus 90 degree over here, zero degrees and 90 degree here. When you look at 10.0.1, it is actually 90 degrees over here, which is incorrect. The final two changes that impact FE Electrical and Computer Candidates have to do with electronics sections of electrical and computer engineering portion of the handbook. So the first one is differential amplifier on page 383. They have made change to this formula over here. It's not very clear until you do a side-by-side -side comparison. It has to do with where the thermal voltage is appearing. So if you look at version 10.1, you can see that VT, V subscript T is actually appearing as part of the exponent, okay? Now, when we jump to 10.0.1, it is actually appearing as a denominator, okay, over here. So that's the difference. It's a very subtle difference. And a lot of times this value happens to be one. So essentially whether it's in the exponent or whether it's in the denominator, it doesn't really matter, but um, it is the correct formula now. So they're showing VT as part of the exponent. The final change has to do with thyristor ideal current voltage relationship. And what they've done is they basically made this VAK small, the V small. So again, side-by-side -side comparison will help us understand this change. When you look at the thyristor IV graph, over here, this V is small. But when you look at 10.0.1, this V is capital. So they've done it to basically just made this change to match this VAK with the label VAK over here. At one point, two port parameters used to be part of FE Electrical and Computer Exam specification, but it was taken out. However, in the index, the reference was still lingering on. And in this edition, 10.1, they've actually removed the reference to two port parameter from the index as well to avoid any confusion. So that was a quick overview of the changes that have been made to version 10.1 of NCS FE Reference Handbook. And as you can see, these changes are very minor and in fact, they don't even impact the number of pages that the reference handbook has. There is no need to worry about the cross-referencing because version 10.0.1 page references are carried over essentially. There are two additional pages if you look at the version 10.1 very closely and those are two blank pages before and after the content. And the good thing is that as soon as version 10.1 hits units of conversion, it restarts at one. So essentially there's a seamless link between the number of pages. The other important thing to remember is that the FE electrical and computer exam specification is unchanged. It is basically the same specification since July, 2020. Now to give you a little bit of background on these changes, Based on my involvement with exam preparation resources and when I was preparing for my exam uh, back in the day in 2014, it was that year when they transitioned from the pen and uh, paper exam format to a computer-based format. So that was a significant change back in 2014. In my opinion, the next significant change came last year when they modified the exam specification. So the exam used to be 18 sections and since July 2020, it is now 17 sections. Now these 17 sections actually, uh, in back when it was 18 sections, it used to have another section called Engineering Sciences for FE Electrical and Computer, but now it has been removed or some of some portions of Engineering Sciences now can be found in some of the other sections. Uh, for example, properties of electrical materials and so on and so forth. But now it is 17 sections. So that was a second major change. In between, they also introduced alternative item types. So the exam was no longer at multiple tries. There could be multiple correct answers. There could be fill in the blanks and some of the other types of questions. But by and far, these two, three changes were the most significant changes over the last five, six years. In between, there have been multiple editions of the reference handbook, and a lot of times these editions are there to sort of uh, in incorporate those errors, typos, discrepancies that have been notified to NCS. And as you can see over here, the modifications and the updates that we went through were primarily either a couple of omissions, for example, the area of ellipse, or corrections to the equations which have been fixed as part of this version 10.1. So my strong recommendation is again, to make use of version 10.1, you can go to my NCS account and download it for free 
because that is a version that's going to be used in the exam. The next question that I'm getting from a lot of students is about exam preparation resources. So my on-demand course is up to date. There's no change in the cross-referencing with the page numbers. So I don't have to make any changes there, but it is always continuously improving. More content is being added to the on-demand FE electrical and computer course. You can check that out. I will include a link in this video. And as far as my third edition of the study guide, which was published last summer, after the changes to the FE electrical and computer exam specification, as you can see, these changes are very minor. And on top of that, the cross-referencing between the page numbers is also identical. So that is also consistent with version 10.1. Although the title says 10.0.1, but because there are no changes, um, there's no need for a revision edition. So I would recommend you to check out that as well. And in case of any questions, feel free to contact me directly by visiting the website, www.studyforfe.com. You can leave your comments over here as well, and um, I will try and answer them. And I would really appreciate if you like this video to please like it and also subscribe to this channel because I'll be adding a lot of content on this channel over the coming days and weeks and months, such as student interviews, such as um, blog videos on commonly asked questions by students. And the content is cover, going to cover both FE electrical as well as PE power. So stay tuned. Thank you.